Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. I'm your host, pastor and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson. So come on in, family. Of course, this is Friday. So what do we do on Fridays? On Fridays, we do our life after abuse. Um, so I just want to encourage someone this morning that is possibly still in that abusive situation. Ooh, and I want to encourage those who have left that situation, but you're still fearful because your abuser may still be stalking you. I went through that. After I left my abuser, uh, he stalked me for years, okay? He would come up to my job. He would come to my apartment. I would have to call the police. It was always drama, okay? And so, you know, there's so much um, fear when it comes to abuse, you know? And so I just wanna encourage those of you who are fearing your abuser today, um, fearing your abuser, your misuser, you know, wherever you are, whatever season you're in, whether you're still with your abuser and working your way out, okay? You know, you need a safe escape plan. You need to call at least two or three people. That's what I did when I made the decision to leave my abuser. I called three people, let them know, that I was saving money, let them and let them know the date that I was planning on moving, and they showed up and they were my covering. Okay, and so that's what you need to do if you are in an abusive uh, relationship. Okay, with an intimate partner, um, or you know what, you can be in an, an abusive situation with your own children. You know, you can be in a, a an abusive situation even, you know, with, um, in friendships, various friendships or, or with the coworker or whatever the situation may be. Um, because the thing is, those of us who have been abused, for some reason, we attract more abuse, it seems like, you know, especially those who become, um, you know, sometimes we become that person that, um, attracts you well you you want to you want to you want to be needed you want to be um you know you want to be accepted you know so you because you want to be needed because you want to be loved because you want to be accepted you tend to allow toxic and bad relationships so um sometimes that can you could you know you're just operating in fear and so i want to talk to you about that fear today we know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So I want you to say that with me. Say, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, the spirit of power, and the spirit of a sound mind. That is a well-disciplined mind. Amen. And so um, I just want to encourage you in that. And so I was talking to someone the other day, and I was just giving her some um, encouragement and I was giving her some scriptures to meditate on. She's in a position right now where she's baking, she's ready to leave. She's ready to leave her abuser. She's ready to make that transition. And so I just wanted to encourage her because she's, you know, she's operating in a lot of fear. She's very fearful. And I just want to encourage anyone, where, whatever season you're in, you know, you do not have to be afraid. Say, I do not have to be afraid. But you do have to be proactive. You do have to come up with a plan, right? You know, and like I said, um, when I talk about abuse, if you're still with your abuser, I'm talking to you. If you have left your abuser and your abuser is still stalking you and you're fearful, I'm talking to you. If you have totally left that life, but now you've attracted other abuse from other people, you know, because that, that usually happens. You know, you're, you're a people pleaser. You're trying to please everybody. You, you're afraid to say no to people, you know, um, and so they take advantage of you. Um, so you're operating in fear. You're, you're fearful to, and afraid to um, open up to new relationships. You're just operating in fear. And, 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 and like I said, Sometimes we attract those toxic relationships because that's all we've ever known is toxic, toxic relationships and abuse. So that's what we're attracting. And so we just want to break, I just declare and decree that we're breaking that spirit off of you right now. You will no longer attract abusive relationships in your life, whether it's friendships or, or, or any type of abuse. 
um, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Say that with me. Say, say who the sun sets free is free indeed. I like to say who the sun sets free, and we're talking about Jesus, is free for real. Say, I am free for real. I am free for real. And so I want to give you one of my favorite scriptures that I like to meditate on, because that's what we need to do. We need to meditate on the word day and night and meditate on it. And, and, and just declare and decree this psalm over your life. Like, get it in your heart so that even, you know, times when you just want to escape but you can't escape mentally. That's the thing. You still have your mind, right? Remember that sound mind, that well-disciplined mind that God has given you? You still have that. Right? You might have, have less of it now than you had before, and I can relate to that because I know by the time I left my abuser, I was, my mind was done. I was so crazy, man, in my mind, um, and I'm just declaring in the cream that that is not you, that you shall recover your mind. You shall, you shall be able to operate in a sound mind, right? But this is what I want you to meditate on. Whatever stage you're in right now, whether you're still with the abuser and planning on leaving, whether you're still with the abuser and trying to figure out how to leave, whether, you're whether you've left the abuser and you're still dealing with the after effects of that, whether you know you've left years ago, but you're still attracting toxic relationships and toxic people in your life and you become fearful, okay? I want you to meditate on the scripture day and night, okay? And so I'm gonna read it. I want you to follow along with me. <clears throat> We're gonna be in Psalm 27. And this is uh, one of my favorite persons in the Bible, King David. Um, so it's the Psalm of David, and I'm just going to read that to you. So when you're in that place where you're just stressed out and you don't know what to do, you don't know, you know, you know, what you're going to do or, or how you're going to do it, or, you know, you find yourself in that state of confusion and that state of fear, fear of your enemy, because listen, anybody who's abusing you at this point, they just declare them as your enemy. They are your enemy. They're not your friend. That's your enemy. Okay, and so you just need to know that. And so David, you know, he's giving his testimony, I believe, of how God had delivered him time after time after time. And I can so relate to that because, yes, I, you know, those of you who follow me, you know my story. Um, I've been through so much, including um, domestic abuse, right? The, including sexual abuse, just including financial abuse. So I've been through all of that. And I just know that there's so much stress that comes out of that. There's so much fear that comes out of that, right? And so, but this has always given me comfort, right? So I want to encourage you to meditate on this scripture, Psalm 27. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Say that with me. Say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is, say, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me. How many feel like you're just being devoured right now? It is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Say, I declare and decree right now that my enemy will stumble and fall when they come up against me, right? Verse 3 says, though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Say, my heart will not fear. Yes, I'm in this abusive situation, uh, or I left my abuser and he's still stalking me and coming after me, but I will not fear. Yes, I have this toxic relationship, could even be a friendship, could be um, a, a child that, that, that has become abusive. You know, whatever the situation is, whatever that toxic relationship is that has caused you to be afraid and that has caused you to be fearful, say, though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Say, my heart will not fear. The war break out against me. Even then, I will be confident. Say, I will be confident. I need you today to have some courage. I need you today to have some confidence in God. Amen. God's got your back. He promised to never leave you nor forsake you. So say, even in all of this, I have confidence. I'm going to get out of this thing. Things are going to get better. Amen. Verse 4 says, one thing I ask from the Lord, this 
only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, amen, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Let's just seek God today in his temple. Listen, while you're alone, you may not be able to escape your abuser right now. But you can escape him in your mind, or you can escape her in your mind, right? God still gave you that sound mind. Say, God gave me that sound mind. He didn't give me that spirit of fear, but he did give me a sound mind, a well-disciplined mind. So just begin to meditate on this word, right? And begin to speak it out of your mouth and begin to make it a part of your thoughts, right? Verse 5 says, for in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shout of joy. Hallelujah. I will sing and take music, I'm sorry, and make music to the Lord. Make music in your mind to the Lord. Just begin to sing out to the Lord in your mind. Hallelujah. Verse 7 says, hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. Verse 8 says, my heart says of you, seek his face. I need you to seek God's face this morning. Hallelujah. David knew when his enemies were coming up against him that he needed to seek God. He needed to seek God's face. Say, I will seek God's face. Amen. I absolutely will. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Hallelujah. How many know that God has been your helper? Amen. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, some of your, your, your family may have forsaken you, your parents may have forsaken you, but listen to this data says, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Hallelujah. Take, teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. How many have some oppressors out there? L listen, your oppressors, you're oppressed this morning, right? You have some oppressors. Verse 12 says, do not turn me over to the desire of my foes for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. They're just spouting out these malicious accusations against you. They're coming against you with these accusations every day. Hallelujah. Um, verse 13 says, I remain confident. Say, I remain confident. Hallelujah. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Say that with me. Let's say that one again. That's verse 13. Say, I remain confident of this. I need for you to remain confident of this. Amen. Say, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to God, right? Then it says, then it says, right? And verse 14, Wait for the Lord. Say, I will wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. God's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. Listen, it says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Say, I can wait for you, God. I've, I've done, I've gone through this. I've gone through that. I've gone through all this abuse and misuse. Hallelujah. I've, 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 I've gone through hell, right? But, but I'm going to wait on you. Because trouble won't last always. I won't always be in this situation. So, so verse 14 says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen. So I want to encourage you to meditate on Psalm 27. When you're in that place where you just don't know, you don't see a way out, you don't know a way out. You can get this word in your heart and begin to recite it in your head over and over and over again. Amen. And, and listen, I know that some of you have been through hell. Okay. Some of you are still going through hell. 
right? But and, and so you've lost your your you you you've lack you have a lack of faith right now. You have a lack of trust right now. Amen. You have a lack of confidence. But I want to encourage you to focus on this word today. Get this word in your heart so that you can develop that faith right and that confidence in god right call on the name of jesus hallelujah proclaim his glory in your life amen i'm a witness god will bring you through that thing amen but you you're you have to be a willing participant you can't just say i'm just going to settle i'm just going to stay here no you have to come up with a safe escape plan amen and 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 so know that you are stronger than you think you are say that when we say i am stronger than i think i am i am stronger than i think i am and god is your stronghold he will hold you strong in in and you know what in your time of weakness say god will hold me strong hallelujah listen be encouraged today be encouraged today and and, and meditate on this word psalm of david psalm 27 the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold, is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me, who's coming up against you this morning? Who is coming up against you this morning? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and and my foes who will stumble and fall i declare and decree right now that your abuser and your misuser is going to stumble and fall amen though an army of besiege me my heart will not fear say my heart will not fear hallelujah hallelujah my heart will not fear though war breaks out against me even then will then i will be confident Say, even then I will be confident. I don't want you to lose hope today. Don't lose hope today, amen. God's got your back. I'm a witness. He's got your back. And God is no respecter of persons. What he's done for me, he can do for you. I always tell people God has delivered me from toxic relationships, from toxic and abusive relationships, and I am never going back. You know, if I even see a remnant of that, I shut it down. I shut it down. I shut it down. I don't play that. I don't play that. You will not abuse me. You will not use me. You will not misuse me. Amen. Because like I said, sometimes after you've been abused, even afterwards, you still are attracting that type of energy, that type of person. And I just declare and decree that we're breaking that off of you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I just come against those who are coming against us, Lord God. Fight against those who are fighting against us, Lord God. And right now, I just declare and decree that um, we we are uh, um, um, breaking off that spirit of, of toxic, toxicity, Lord God, the toxic relationships and abusive relationships. We will no longer attract that in our life, Lord God. Hallelujah. We will no longer settle for for abuse and misuse Lord God and those who manipulate us Lord God we will I cast it out right now in the name of Jesus Lord God I declare and decree that we are set free who the son sets free is free indeed Lord God you know how I like to do it daddy who the son sets free is free for real in the name of Jesus hallelujah yes you are set free today you are set free today even though you don't feel it right now even though you don't see it right now, I just declare and decree that you are set free. It starts in your mind. You have to be set free in your mind. Say, I need to be set free in my mind because it's very true that even after we leave our abuser, sometimes we're still abusing ourselves, right? Or, or we're still attracting uh, abusive relationships. And I'm just breaking that off of you right now in the name of Jesus. I declare you free today. You are set free, delivered and set free in jesus name amen so what i want to do right now and i do want to go ahead and um i'm gonna give you some stay tuned for um the information contact information for those of you who may still be in an abusive uh, relationship physically abused right um and you want to see your way out i, I want to give you that number okay so stay tuned for that but then also stay tuned for uh, women who are sharing their stories and and if you're out there and you're watching this and you hear your story and their story then i need you to reach out to me amen i can be reached at um 
you can email me at tears in a bottle eight at gmail.com. That's tears in a bottle eight at gmail.com. I would love to pray with you. I'm always praying for you, but I would love to pray with you and I would love to see you through, see you out, see, see you, see you out of that situation. Even when I say life after abuse, even after we, we, we're, we're, we're out sometimes, we're still bound to our abuser in our minds. So some of y'all need to break free in your minds, right? Some of you are still living in fear. Some of you are still living in um, doubt. You know, uh, you're still oppressed even after you've gotten out of the abuse, right? And so there is life after. Say there is life after. There's life after abuse. There's life after divorce. There's life after loss. And that's why I'm here. God has called me to help you to make that transition, okay? But what I would like for you to do right now, I want you to stay tuned, okay, for the information. Uh, and if you know somebody who's in an abusive relationship, I, I need for you to give them this information. I need you to share this video with them. And then I want you to listen to these women share their stories, right? I don't do this um, just for no reason. I'm doing this because sometimes people are in an abusive relationship and don't even know. You don't even know. It's so crazy. And you, that might, might sound strange to some people, but when I was being abused, I didn't even know that's what that was. I mean, I just didn't know because I had never really knew anybody who was in an abusive relationship before. So I didn't even realize that that's what that was. I just thought we fought all the time, right? I just thought, you know, he was being disrespectful to me. I didn't realize, no, you are, you are being battered. You are being abused and misused, okay? Right? And so I want you to listen to these women's stories. And if, you he if your story sounds like their story, then you need to contact me or you need to contact that, um, that hotline. So God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. I need for you to be encouraged and not discouraged. Amen. God's got your back. He promised to never leave you nor forsake you. So be encouraged and not discouraged in Jesus' name. I declare and decree. I declare this blessing over you, a third John blessing. I pray above all things that you will prosper, that you will be in health, even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. So hang in there. Listen to uh, the information, take down this information, if it's for you or could be for somebody else you know, and listen to these ladies' stories and contact me if you need me, okay? So just don't go anywhere, take a listen, and I will see you next time, okay? All right, take a listen. Okay, so this is the hotline, okay, for domestic violence, okay? Um, that number is one 800 seven nine nine seven two three three one eight hundred seven nine nine seven two three three or if you're unable to speak safely you can log on to the hotline um, dot org or text love is to two two five two two okay so it's time it's time okay it's your season for a better life it's time it's time okay so listen to the other ladies and if you need to reach me um please do i'm here for you okay all right hey this is pastor carolyn from tears to breakthrough ministries and conference under the spiritual covering of apostle felicia anderson of the house of healing international we are breaking through together so come on in this is life after abuse. Abusive relationships start out like all relationships. If you were going to go out with someone for the first time and they reached over and they hit you in the face, you probably wouldn't want to go out with that person again. Sometimes it's almost too good at the beginning of an abusive relationship. I found that there were indicators. I am very passive and with him, as soon as I married him, his whole disposition changed with me. Immediately I became owned and he said so. Right there, 
as soon as I dues were done, said, uh, now you're my wife. Now you need to act like my wife. You know, down, that degrades you. I'm trying to start the abuse. I start feeling bad about myself. It was basically just go to work, come home. He had a problem because I made more money than he did, so. Words. I'm going to degrade you until I think you are low enough. It's the money. Here, take this $20 and make it last all week. It's the children. You better not leave these children here with me. It's your sexual relationship. Forced sex. Maybe no sex. Sister, do everything for the church. We're not going to ask you to. It seems for us, for our family. He was almost that I have to beg. But yet, he was the man of God that I needed to listen to and obey. I no longer believe in the church system because I know it's imperfect. But what got me through was my relationship that I had with God. Just randomly, he would just hit me. I mean, you know, in my face. So I couldn't even hide it with him. Um, he would hit me in my face so hard. I would just like spit blood. I would have a mouthful of blood. Um, he would spit on me. You know, he would like spit. You know, he would like spit in my face if I was trying to talk to him. I declare you free today in Jesus' name. Amen.